Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday. I'm back. Oh my gosh, last week was kind of a crazy week. I um, volunteered kind of to um, help out another gal that was on vacation. So I had to get in and get trained and kind of uh, learn what she did on a day-to-day -day basis and then um, didn't anticipate having to um, be in the office quite as much, hey Charlene, as I ended up having to be. So uh, I kind of um, mixed up my schedule a little bit. Anyway, so hello Michelle, welcome. So anyway, I appreciate you guys um, giving me grace on uh, No Facebook Live last Friday. They're literally like I worked kind of all day every day last week, which is um, you know, a lot of people do that and I do it, but in a different way. Um, so yeah, going into the office like all day, every day, that's not my norm. I uh, work from home a lot and I realized I really like doing that too. So anyway, I apologize. I wasn't able to go live last Friday, but we are back here today right now, ready to have some fun with our awesome, we have the ridiculously awesome stamp set is what we are featuring this week as our product of the week on our Facebook group. So we've got some, this is just a, a, a super cool stamp set. I love like the big bold um, imagery in terms of the sentiments too, because I think it makes it really simple and fun and easy to make cute cards with it, which you guys know me. I love the cute, simple fun. Hello, Miss Susie. So glad you can join us. So let's take a peek at this great stamp set we've got, which is probably why, hey Jamie, why it is called Ridiculously Awesome because we've got today, or excuse me, Make Today Ridiculously Awesome. Love that one, right? You got this. Uh, you are my sunshine. This is an awesome one too. Let faith be bigger than your fear. Um, love, love, love that sentiment. I think there are so many times and reasons why uh, that kind of a sentiment can apply. So I love that. And then this one's so cute too, the PS, I love you. So great stamp set. And then they've got some other fun um, imagery right there too, just like bright and bold, right? So hey, Diana, so glad you guys are all popping on. Good morning. And Susie, thank you for sharing too. I really, you guys know, I love and truly appreciate your shares of the video because that's what helps me kind of keep uh, cruising along with the, the fun Facebook Lives. Um, so yeah, we are going to... Uh, make two awesome projects with the ridiculously awesome stamp set in just a little bit on Facebook Live. In the meantime, I always, I'm like, I always feel a little like out of it. Like when I don't do the Facebook Live every week, I'm like, I lose my flow a little bit. So I'm trying to dive back into things, but let's see. Um, oh, I know what I want to show you guys. So we played bingo a couple of weeks ago at the stamp studio. And in addition to playing bingo, we always get to make cute projects. And I always give everybody, um, like I make a little treat for everybody. So let me show you guys, cause I thought I loved my little treat that I made everybody. It is a um, sticky note holder. And if you can see, it says, trust me, uh, you're lovely. I was gonna say fabulous, but no, I've been using the word fabulous a lot lately. But yes, trust me, you're lovely. Or you could be fabulous too, right? So this is kind of the front of it. And I'm gonna lay it down so you can see. It's one of these kind of little like accordion fold. So you can put it on maybe your desk or near your phone or whatever um, and kind of pop it right up there. So you guys kind of can see. And I love the little spriggy thing. So this, this is my favorite sprig ever from the sunflower dies. This is another kind of leafy spriggy thing from the forever flourishing dies. And then that label is from the tasteful, the tasteful labels dies. I did do a blog post too. So if you want to know, cause you can, can you kind of see? So it, um, it folds together like this. This is actually one piece. So can you see that? I tried to take pictures and um, explain on my blog post too, but I thought I'd show you guys on here too. So this is one piece. I'm gonna try to hold it. So from here to here, and I think I scored it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. If those measurements aren't right, check my blog because I know I did it right on there. And then there's also a piece, this front flap right here is four and a quarter tall. So can you see how you kind of accordion fold it? And then this front piece just get stuck on like the top half of the accordion fold. So you wouldn't want to stick it down on the bottom part right there, right? Because then it wouldn't 
um, flap closed, if that makes sense. So anyway, I tried to explain on my blog post and hopefully between showing you guys here and reading my blog post, if you want to make something like this, you could, but I love, hey, Miss Sharon, welcome, welcome home too. I'm thinking that you're home from Colorado. I want to hear about your trip. Hey, Miss Nikki, yay, you guys, awesome. Everybody's finding me. It's always, um, yeah, like, is she going to do it this week since I didn't do it last week, right? Um, so, yeah, okay, so fun little treat. This is what I gave everybody. Hey, Sandra, yay, you're up and you're here, and it's Friday, right? Not Saturday, right? I think that was the problem last time. <laughs> you crack me up, too. I love your little posts on Facebook and all your stories and stuff. So, yes, and Sharon is home. Awesome. Okay, so, yeah, so I gave everybody the little notepad holder. They also got, like, a sampler of the whale of a Time Designer Series paper that we featured a couple of weeks ago as our product of the week and then that awesome pool party sheer ribbon hey Philomena yay everybody's popping on thank you for sharing too and then we made a couple of cute cards I completely cased both of these because I was running out of time and I loved because I wanted to show the whale um, designer series paper and I loved um, just how she did this card basically so this is an Erica Sirwin pink buckaroo love like pretty much love everything she does so this was one of the cards we made at bingo um, again featuring some of the whale of a time um, uh, suite of products right and then this other one I changed the colors up a little bit but this is a Mary Fish card uh, Stampin pretty I have loved Mary for years and years and years she's probably my first gal like blog that I followed like way back in the day when I first started so anyway she does lots of really like cute simple stamping and then this was um, one of our stamps that we used um, a couple weeks ago as well. I'm trying, I'm drawing a blank. I'm trying to remember. Anyway, but those were the two make and takes. So we play bingo for awesome prizes. Um, we do make and takes and then, um, I always give everybody some fun stuff too because I'm like totally of the mindset which I know that's not how bingo works but I want everybody to be a winner everybody to feel like a winner so everybody gets some fun stuff um, for me as kind of a thank you for coming and participating so yeah so I just had to show you guys those things because those were kind of fun um let's see oh bonus days don't forget guys we're like what is today July 31st and you actually have a couple more days usually bonus days like are just for the say the month of July but they're giving us three three days into August. So you have until it's Monday, right? Let me make sure. Yep. Monday, August 3rd for every $50 you spend, you get a $5 bonus days coupon that you can use um, on August 4th. And you know what else you can do on August 4th? You can order from the holiday catalog. Now I still can't show you guys the inside of the catalog, but this is the beautiful, we are going to have lots and lots of fun. And they gave us extra time too. I feel like usually how does it work? Well, maybe maybe customers can always order in August. Anyway, I don't know. I can't remember. They're kind of changing things though because I think next year this catalog might even be like July to December. So right now this year it's um, in very small print. You can see August to December. They're not even calling it holiday. It's like the August to December 2020 mini catalog, but I'm still going to call it the holiday catalog. And yes, yeah, Sharon, you're going to use your $5 coupons for the new uh, die cutting and embossing machine. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Cannot wait to get our hands on that. That will be so fun to be able to show you guys that too. And any, um, I, no, I was going to say anybody, but I'm pretty sure it's demonstrators can order um, the new Stampin' um, like die cut and emboss machine um, on August 4th. Um, so in addition to being able to order out of the new holiday catalog as a demonstrator, we can get the new um, Big Shot version, basically our new Stampin' like die cut and emboss machine. Um, what else was I gonna tell you guys about? There was something, oh, I know. So if you're dying to get stuff, say out of the holiday catalog, if you get the starter kit, you can actually pre-order, because as demonstrators right now, we can be pre-ordering out of the holiday catalog. So if you've seen lots of fun ideas online or you just wanna get started on your holiday cards, get the starter kit and then you can get fun products um, out of the new holiday catalog in your starter kit too. Or wait until August 4th, which is next Tuesday, it's only a few days from now, and you can order from the holiday catalog as well. So lots of good stuff happening, but yeah, make sure, get your last ditch order in right now, $50 to get your $5 bonus day coupon that then you can start using on Tuesday, August 4th. Uh, and Sally is saying, yes, that catalog has made my list uh, double in size. Oh yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, because there's lots of good stuff in there, right? So, um, 
Yeah, I have not even had as much time as I would like to sit and enjoy that catalog. Um, every time I think I'm gonna have some free time, then something comes up. So yeah, I don't know, but I, I will. I'm super excited to be able to get into the holiday catalog. So as I'm sure you guys are as well, right? Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, all right, I'm cruising right along. Just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything, but I think we're good. Okay, so let's do our first drawing for, we are giving away the Champagne Rhinestones, my most favorite, any bling, I love any sparkle and any bling, right? So you guys have been sharing the video already this week, and I'll tell you in just a few minutes what your name is gonna go in the drawing for for next week. But in the meantime, you are in the drawing if you shared the last Facebook Live video that I did. It was actually two weeks ago, right? So I've been um, kind of reposting and sharing. So anytime you shared, you got your name in here. Or if you're new to me and you have not signed up for my email list, which I always, so after this video is done, at the top there's always kind of like a title or description. I always put a link in there um, to sign up for my email list. So if you're watching now and you're like, hey, or later, if you're watching on YouTube or um, later and you want to sign up for my email list because you haven't done that yet, um, go ahead and click on the link right in the title to this video and that'll get you to the link to sign up. So, all right, here we go. Let's see. We have one lucky winner in Sally's all me, me, me. I think Sally, you won last time. So you had some Good juju going. Okay, one in my hand, and it is, ah, Miss Susan Pacheco. Pache I think you say it's like an E, right, Susan? Um, like egg Pacheco, I think is how I'm going to say it. Pacheco? Yeah. So, hi, hey, Teresa, how are you? So, Miss Susan, you are the winner of, oops, oh no, my little thingy fell over. <laughs> the rhinestones. So, I will get the champagne rhinestones mailed out to you, Miss Susan. All right, hold on, I got to grab that little tub. It just kind of fell over on me there because I need to put the names in the drawing for the next one that we'll do in just a minute. In the meantime, though, we have, so on next Friday's Facebook Live, we are going to be giving away, this is the awesome new Magenta Madness Twill Ribbon. You guys are very sweet. All your congratulations. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to give away a full bolt. I haven't even opened it, but I have a partial one because you guys probably have seen this, right? But I love, it's a nice, like a really soft, easy to work with material, a twill in all of our ink colors. So this one is our Magenta Madness. And these were kind of on back order for a while, so I think maybe we're out of back order mode with our um, in color ribbon. So we're gonna be giving away the Magenta Madness ribbon uh, next Friday's Facebook Live. So share the video, sign up for my email list as many times as you share, your name goes in the drawing. And I love, love, love when you share to your crafting groups. Any other, you know, groups that you pop over to that you um, like to, you know, get ideas from, I'd love for you to share um, our video over there too, because then that always helps me find new stamping friends. So yeah, which I appreciate. You guys know I love that. So thank you, thank you for the shares. Um, okay, oh, quick congratulations to, we have one of our new Downline members, actually, one, well, one of our Inspired Stampers members that bought the starter kit through a gal um, in my downline named Jamie Sanders. So her downline that just bought the starter kit in June is um, she's already reached, reached her $300 quarterly minimum. So I want to give a shout out and congratulations to Sandra Bookmeyer for already reaching her $300 quarterly minimum. So just so you guys know, because I kind of like to make sure everybody understands how that works. So when you buy the starter kit, so for example, a lot of people just bought the starter kit um, in June with our like the extra bundle promotion that we had. Um, so you have... So say if you bought the starter kit in June, you have the partial quarter that you start in, which ends in June, and then you have the next quarter, so June, right? And then you have July, August, and September. So you kinda, in that case, end up with about four months, potentially. Um, as long as you have $300 in orders in by September 30th, then your demonstrator ID kind of renews for another quarter, and then you can continue to get your discount on um, your purchases or your income on your sales, right? So um, I just like for people to kind of understand that. So Sandra Bookmeyer has actually already done that. She bought the starter kit in June and by July, end of July, she's already met her $300 quarterly minimum. So the other thing I like for everybody to understand is 
There's no, like there's nothing awful that happens. Like if you buy the starter kit and you don't meet that $300 quarterly minimum, basically your demonstrator ID just drops. Like you can't get onto the Stampin' Up! website any longer. You can't like pre-order out of any of our catalogs or getting any sneak peeks, um, that sort of stuff. So kind of all those demonstrator perks go away, but that's it. Um, so just know that there's never any pressure. The opportunity is always there if you want to use your discount and get awesome products, which we all know we love to do, right? So. Anyway, if you ever have any questions about getting the starter kit or the quarterly minimums or anything to do with that, just um, let me know. And I will too um, say, because I haven't said it in a while, if you guys ever have any questions, you can email me at any time at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. So it's just like my name is spelled, amy.ferlici at yahoo.com, which I know is not easy to spell. Um, so A-M-Y period F-R-I-L-L-I-C-I -L -L -I -I at yahoo.com or you can always call or text me. My phone number is 989-330-0259. Okay, so call, text me anytime. Sorry guys, I'm missing, um, I want to flip back here because Jamie's answering for Sally, which I appreciate. Can customers buy out of the new, I'm assuming you're talking about the holiday catalog. Yes, yes they can, yes. And let me make sure in very small print. Yep, the catalog sales period for this holiday catalog is August 4, 2020 through January 4, 2021. So yeah, Sally, anybody can order um, starting next Tuesday, August 4. But in the meantime, if you're a demonstrator, you can order right now. So that's the fun part. You can order right now, spend your $50, get your $5 bonus day coupon that then you can use for other fun stuff um, starting on August 4th too. So yeah, good stuff, right? Okay, so I want to um, show you guys, right? So if you put an online order in from my last Facebook Live video that I did two weeks ago, which was on July 17th, um, if you put in at least a $30 order, you are automatically getting these two cards, these beautiful cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. Your name is in the drawing right now. I think, let me make sure I have those names right, um, to win the Hippo Happiness stamp set. This is such a cute stamp set. Now I have to make sure. Yep, names are in there, okay. And if you bumped your order up to $50, you also got the opportunity to pick from the July Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the July embellishment, which are the butterfly gems. So these are in um, our last year's in colors. Um, these super, you guys have to peek at those, right? So these have been like super fun to play with those little butterflies, right? So you can pick either one of these with your $50 order. Plus you also get the bonus day coupon too. So it's a great time to shop right now, right? You get all kinds of good stuff. So, okay, we are gonna do our drawing now for that Hippo Happiness stamp set, okay? So I'm gonna shake these around and not too many entries in here. There aren't too many to shake around either. So you guys know this, right? When I offer these things, your chances are really, really good of winning. So now's the time to order because people don't order quite as much in the summer, I don't think, because you're out doing other stuff. So now's a great time to order um, and get all kinds of free stuff from me. So, and thank you, Susan. I'm glad you like those cards. You missed it too. I think I drew your name, Miss Susan. You are the winner of the champagne rhinestones. So I will be sending those out to you. Okay, so here we go. Now we are drawing for the Hippo Happiness Stamp Set. Okay, so I have, yep, just one in my hand. Oh, Miss Jenny Theo Harris. Congratulations. I think you have to let me know, Jenny, if I pronounced your name right, but that's how I'm going to say it. Jenny Theo Harris. So congratulations, Miss Jenny. You will be getting the Hippo Happiness Stamp Set and both of these cards in the mail for me. And then she actually bumped, her order was over $50. So she got to pick from either the, um, what are they called? The Butterfly Gems or the um, PDF tutorial. So, and we will have actually a new, did I bring that over? Maybe I forgot that. So um, today's the last day. If you put an online order in today, you um, can pick the um, Butterfly Gems or the July PDF tutorial or uh, starting tomorrow, August 1st, and I didn't bring them over, I thought I did. I am pretty sure my free embellishment for um, August, right, is gonna be August tomorrow, yes. <laughs> Get the brain working, I feel like there's, it's like trudging through like mud or something, you know, like. <laughs> to get the brain to work um yeah so no august free embellishment is going to be the in color 
um, enamel dots, I think they're called, because those have been in back, out, back order for forever too. So that, that's what you can um, get next month with your $50 order or the August PDF tutorial. So yeah, good stuff, huh? Okay. Um, oh, plus what else are we going to where did that go? Yeah. So it also, God, I'm sorry, uh, blah, 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 with your online order of at least $30, you're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a few minutes, right? And your name is going to go in the drawing to win. This is the Playing with Patterns designer series paper. So I'm not going to open that one, but I do have a little sample of a little. I've been using this paper a lot. So I have a few sheets, not even too many. Isn't that funny? This is kind of what I have left in my pack right now. This gives you a little bit of, oh yeah, those are fun and bright, right? A little idea of the paper in there. Plus we use that. This was our product of the week a couple weeks ago, right? So you guys all kind of remember. Beautiful, love um, like the soft, bright, soft yet bright colors in that paper bag. So that's what we'll draw for on next Friday's Facebook Live. If you put your online order in, use the host code. We have a new host code. Um, I'm starting August host code even today. Um, so that'll be on my blog and I will give it to you in just a couple minutes here too. Um, let me flip the camera down. So I know Susan, I love that paper too. Um, it's also the paper that we used on, this was one of those um, cards that I demonstrated, right? A few weeks ago, that's some of the Playing With Patterns designer series paper. I have swap, or, um, scrapbook pages that we made also with it, but I'm gonna flip the camera down and I'll show you those in just a sec. Cause I think, yeah. The only other thing I wanna mention before we flip the camera down is just a quick reminder about the retreats that are coming up this fall. Okay, so we have our weekend retreat is on October 23, 24, and 25, and that's in Lansing, so just down the road from me. It's like 45 minutes south of here in Alma, um, October 23 through 25. You get a free gift from me if you sign up by September 21st, sign up and pay by September 21st, and final RSVPs are due by October 2nd, okay? Um, basically, it's an awesome weekend. You just come and hang out and craft, and we feed and take care of you and pamper you. Um, and just you hang out and have fun and chat with the ladies that are there, get ideas from other people that are there and um, work on whatever projects you wanna work on, right? So same idea, It's this is the one day retreat that I do here in Alma and that is on November 14th. So we got a little while for that one and fingers crossed, I'm assuming all these things are gonna be able to happen. We are kind of, you know, full steam ahead as if they are. Um, and if not, we can turn them into like retreats to go to if we have to, because I know I had to do that in the spring also. Um, but like I said, fingers crossed that, you know, maybe we have to wear masks and that's all right. Um, that's just kind of the norm these days, right? Um, okay, but so the one day retreat is November 14th. You get a free gift if you sign up and pay by October 16th. Final RSVPs are due by October 30th, okay? So if anybody has any questions on those, the one day retreat is here in Alma, it's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Same idea though, where I um, feed you and pamper you and just take good care of you while you hang out and just make uh, whatever you wanna make for the day, okay? Um, okay, I think we are good. I want to, yeah, let's see. We're gonna flip the camera down. I gotta move some stuff out of the way because I, I don't want it to be too cluttery here. Well, we do this. Okay, so, 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 so. I'm gonna get my host code, so I have this right here, so I can give you guys this too. Um, okay, are we ready? I think we're ready. Okay, let's do it. Turn your heads away for a sec. We are flying through the air, and I'll be back. Flipped down in just a moment. Let's see, hopefully we're good. Okay. Not bad, let me just fix that angle a little bit. Okay, so here's our host code. Um, this is what you're gonna wanna use for any order going forward, the R4P4KGGM. Um, shop and use that host code at stampinup.com, right? Okay, so I have to show you, these were the um, pages, a couple of the pages that we made at Scrapbook Class this week on Tuesday. So they feature that playing with patterns designer series paper so you get a little bit better idea of that. And then the fun, this is the Many Mates stamp set along with the playing with patterns ribbon combo pack. We use the other one. There's a purple and white one, purple posy on the other page. I'll show you that in a sec. And then these are the playing with patterns um, resin dots, I think they're, because they're kind of a little plastic. Um, and then the labels, we use the tasteful labels dies. And you guys, we used 
two, four, and then three more on the other page. We used seven out of the 10 dies because I really wanted everybody to see how great these dies were. So anyway, okay, that is one page. And then here is the coordinating the other page, right? So more of that playing with patterns designer series paper that you can win with your online order when you use the host code between now and next Wednesday. And then here's the other one. There's more of that ribbon. So you can see this combo pack of ribbon has the navy there. It's like a super thin, maybe an eighth of an inch wide um, navy ribbon. And then this is Coastal Cabana. Can you guys see? Because I love kind of the texture in there too. I keep my pages pretty simple. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like them. I like to kind of show off our products, but I also like to make sure you really feature your um pictures there too. So then the third ribbon in the combo pack is, this is my favorite ladies, I love that purple posy and white striped ribbon. And then you've got It's Your Day with three more label dies and another little enamel or a resin dot, right? Okay, so fun, fun, fun. Just had to show you guys those scrapbook pages. Okay, so let me find, where's my grid paper? Let's do some stamping. You guys, I I didn't, because like I said, I was working so much last week, I didn't get to stamp very much. And I realized how much I like working from home and how much I like stamping too. All right, so you guys can see that, but then you can't see anything else. So well, what are we going to do? We're going to just make sure this is in view, right? Okay, there we go. All right, so yes, we are using our product of the week, the Ridiculously Awesome Stamp Set. And then I also have to show you guys... Um, and I'm pretty sure this is called Artistry Blooms Paper. And now I didn't, I meant to double check. Pretty sure that's what it's called. But I love, I don't know, do you like it to go that way? Or do you like it to go that way? And so one side is super kind of bold and pretty crazy, right? Of this paper. There's that one, there's that one. There's kind of the green, but look at, it's just so bright and cheerful, all these. This is a little bit of an ombre. I guess the others are a little bit too, right? But woo, right? So pretty darn crazy on that side, right? And then we flip these over like a little more muted, but look at, isn't that, oh, again, kind of an ombre look, right? So you've got that one and that one, that one, one more there. You guys kind of, kind of get an idea there with the blues. Again, the ombre, dark to light on that one. And then this one's um, really cool. It looks like a slint sky maybe, right? If you, mm, so cool. So maybe, I don't know, in the morning or at night. Anyway, so beautiful pack of paper that I also used on these cards. I guess maybe I should have showed you one of the cards first. So here's our first card. Make today ridiculously awesome. And I love that like bold, bold sentiment, right? So I wanted to use some kind of bold paper with it also. Oh, Sharon, oh, your craft room is still empty. She says, I miss it very much. Ah, oh, but you're going to be able to put it back together very soon. That's awesome. Yeah, so then you're going to be so organized, right? When you get to get back in your craft room, everything's going to have like the right place for it. You're going to, oh yeah, you're going to love that once you can get it all back in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start making this card. I am so worried that I have forgotten something. And I guess if I have, I will just run back and get it. Um, so we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so, and we kind of did some fun folds too, right? Um, so this is super fun, right? Woo, how fun is that? <laughs> anyway, it's just a little bit different, right, than we normally do. But so this is the card base, right? So our Knight of Navy card base, that's it right there, right? So normally it's an eight and a half by 11. This one, you do cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half, but this time you kind of lop off at the eight and a half inch side, you lop it off at seven inches. So it ends up being five and a half by seven inches. And then you still score it at your four and a quarter along the original eight and a half, now turned to seven. You still score it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's your Knight of Navy card base, just like that, right? Then we have, Oh, I thought I lost it. Our designer series paper, that's gonna go right there. This DSP measures two and a half by five and a quarter. And then Whisper White for the inside are standard four by five and a quarter there, okay? So, and then I just have another kind of a scrap piece of Whisper White to um, do our sentiment, to stamp our sentiment on, so. Okay, let's see, I think we have everything, right? Okay, so let's um, let's do our stamping for our make today ridiculously awesome and actually we can put our stars um, on there 
there too. I didn't think I was going to be stamping off the edge of anything, so I didn't have my little, I had a little grid paper handy. But I am, yeah. let's see, here we go, my little scrap grid paper. <laughs> So because my stars are going to kind of go off the edge here. So first of all, we're going to use the Granny Apple Green ink. Ah, you just ordered the DSP today too. That's awesome, Susan. And you guys know this, the beauty of Stampin' Up, right? All of the color coordination. So Knight of Navy in our DSP. That's why I picked a Knight of Navy card base. We've got Granny Apple Green right there in our DSP. So I'm using my Granny Apple Green ink. And then actually this is kind of Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. So that's why I went with um, Coastal Cabana ink on our sentiment there. Okay. So definitely one of the best things about Stampin' Up! is that color coordination, right? Okay. So we've got our granny apple green. And it's funny how this happened to me when I made this card the other day. It looks so dark at first. So can you see that? Like, look at that compared to that, doesn't it? Maybe in the light you can't see so much, but it, it definitely kind of tones down um, once um, it dries. Yeah, it is a good masculine card, you're right. It's funny, because Susan, I didn't even look at it like that, but you're right, it is with the, the blues and the greens. Yeah, you could yeah definitely make that a masculine card too. It's funny that I didn't think of it like that, so. Okay, so then, let's see, we're gonna use our Coastal Cabana ink actually scoot this guy out of the way and we've got our make today ridiculously awesome so we're gonna ink that up stamp right there beautiful right love that make today ridiculously awesome haha <laughs> wouldn't we all right why not let's make every day ridiculously awesome <laughs> okay so here I'm just like moving stuff around so I am going to cut this baby out now. So have you guys seen, Sharon was the one um, at our meeting, gosh, was it even last month? Anyway, maybe in June, that she said, have you guys seen, these are the um, Hippo and Friends dies. So they coordinate with the stamp set that Jenny just one, right? This hippo happiness stamp set. So we've got um, dies that'll cut out the hippo and the unicorn and the lamb, right? Um, but then we also have, so here we go, those guys right there and there's the little lamb. But look at all of these others. Like you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different label dies in here too. And then some fun little flowers, a little squiggly guy and all these other little um, extra bits and pieces too. So this is like an amazing set of dies as well. A label dies, right? So in addition to coordinating with the hippo stamp set, right? You've got all of these awesome labels. So even if you don't, if you're not into hippos, you still need this die set because look at, I'm gonna show you another. I used a couple of these or actually one of them. I'll show you in a sec. Um, I was kind of looking at um, making this card a little bit different and I used, I think it was that die right there too. So I'm gonna show you that in a minute after we die cut this and I get it out of the way because it, it looked, I thought, oh, that would be another good possibility too. So, okay, in the meantime, we're using, this is like the largest, this is like, right? <laughs> I sound like I'm a teenager. Um, the largest in this shape of uh, the dies, right? Okay, so we're just popping that on there. We're gonna make our cut here super quick and easy. And one more crank apparently, Amy. Okay, let's pop that right over there. Okay, so back to our card. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah, so before I put this on, I'm going to show you what I was kind of alluding to. But in the meantime, here we go. We're going to... Okay, so I have learned the trick. First of all, you have to make sure that it's ready to go. And I loved... I can't remember who... Maybe it was Nikki who shared with us. Um, if you don't have stickiness right there, you can always go to a point that's got some sticky and it's almost like it helps draw it along rather than having to advance it with your finger. But that, you have to do that. Somehow you have to get the stickiness um, back on there to get it to roll. Otherwise, you kind of keep pressing on your stamp and seal and you can break it. You don't want to do that, right? Okay, so then we're going to put this little baby on the inside. And I have, I am still kind of going with my flick of the wrist like I did with my fast fuse. I found for me 
And somebody was saying I hold it different and I, I still need to look and see how I'm holding it. <laughs> it's just what I do. Um, it, it, that's the way it's working for me, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, okay. We are going to put a couple of dimensionals just on the top part of this. You don't want to put them down here because we're going to have it. It's going to go on right about like that. I might put one maybe right there just to kind of keep it balanced, right? So that's going to go right there. But I have to show you guys. Sorry, things are like flitting all over here. Place. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, Erica. Yes, from Pink Buck Roo. Okay, so this is the other one, though. So can you see? So this is um, like the one of the label punches. But can you see the detail around that one? It is that die right there, right? So this would be another fun. You could do this. Let faith... Let your faith be bigger than your fear. That would work really well on there as well. So I wanted to show you guys that. And can you kind of see, because there's stitching around there too. If we get it in the right light, are we going to be able to see it? Arr, I don't know if we are. Anyway, I love I love that shape too with the mm, just all the little scallopy details. So another good option for you, right? We are going to go back to, just because this is what I was showing you guys. So I want to put this one on our um, blog post too. So there we go. Okay, so we've got that. And then last, couple little last um, finishing touches. We are using, this is the Flowers for Every Season, part of the Ribbon Combo Pack. So this is actually um, Misty Moonlight and White with a little bit of silver, Baker's Twine. Um, but I'm gonna double this over like that and then we're gonna make a bow. So you kind of just act like, people always wonder, how do you make a double bow? Well, you just loop it. I'm trying to figure out if that's enough. That's the only thing you have to try to figure out, right? But you just loop it together so you got two strings instead of one. And then you just work with it as if um, you just have one, um, one piece of twine instead of two. So the, probably the hardest part is getting those two bits through the loop. But... That's about it. Hello, Miss Sue. Hello in Ohio. Thank you for joining us. I hope things are good down in Ohio. Yeah, okay. I could futz with that for a while. We're not gonna do that though. Okay, so we're gonna just do that and that. Cut everything off. And what I do have my mini glue dots, that is good. Oh. Yeah, Sharon, I think it's not brandy. I think it is, um, mm, now I'm drawing a blank. Because actually Brandy Cox just reached her $3 million in sales. She's the first one in Stampin' Up! History, amazing, right, to um, get to $3 million. But I think this one is... Um, uh, Cardin, Robin, Robin Cardin. I think this is the die set, the hippo dies. Um, Robin, who also reached a million dollars. Yes, and Jamie's saying the same thing too. Well, you know, these girls are all fabulous and they're all um, cute blondes too. Uh, Jamie, or yeah, well, Jamie's a cute blonde too, who's telling us, right? But um, Robin and Brandy are both cute blondes and they are they are very good at what they do. That is for sure. Um, but yeah, okay. So yeah, so um, it was um, Robin who designed those dies, I think, or had help from Stampin' Up too. They, they get help from Stampin' Up because actually, now that you're saying that, this is, and you, whenever you see that little logo right there, this is a million dollar stamp set that Rhonda Wade, who's right here in Michigan, um, that she designed this stamp set. So um, yeah, lots of million dollar achievers these days, which is so, so cool, right? Okay, so here we have, these are my, um, <laughs> yes, Robin Pink Stamper. Oh, awesome, Miss Nikki, yes. Yes, very cool. I didn't realize that Robin was your upline. Yes, I've met her a couple of times. She's awesome. Lots of energy, lots and lots of energy, right? <laughs> okay, so we are using not the frosty ones. We're going to use the clear epoxy droplets. And you're right, it is fabulous nevertheless, for sure, Miss Sharon. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of... Um, pop these. I'm going to put a couple of them. Just have to kind of dig underneath there. You can use your paper snips. Um, you can use a paper piercing tool. I don't know. If you have a little fingernail, I think that's about all I need. You just have to make sure you get the glue dot off of here. 
when you pop it on there. So I kind of liked the idea, like this is a little bit of silvery glittery that kind of coordinates with the silvery glittery, right? Oops, are we in view? Um, with our baker's twine too. So there's our first card, cute, simple. You can still have lots of room to write in there. Make today ridiculously awesome. Let's do it, ladies. Or you could do that one. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. I think they're both great. Okay, so that's card number one. Let's scoot some stuff out of the way. And I'll show you guys the other card. Another fun fold. And I was telling Miss Nancy, who is one of our Inkspired stampers, she brought, sorry, I'm still like fussing around here. Um, where's her card? Let me show you. Let me get this out here. So Miss Nancy Gulick, who is one of our Inkspired stampers, it's kind of coming apart because I wanted to show you how it goes together. Um, but she brought this card to our Inkspired stampers meeting that was last week, right? So this is fun though, it's a, and it's a fun fold too. So this opens up like this, right? And I, <laughs> it was kind of coming apart and I thought I was gonna put it back together and then I wanted to show you guys how you actually make this card. So it's kind of good that it's coming apart. So you start with, this is a piece of cardstock that is um, a quarter of a sheet. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? And then you have a piece of, this is your designer series paper. Um, I think I have notes about what these sizes all are too. Yeah, the DSP is three inches wide and it's actually six inches long, but you score it at five and a half inches. Can you see? So then you tuck it back underneath there, right? If you guys can kind of see that. So you're going to tuck it underneath. In this case, so now I am going to try to get it stuck on there a little bit better because I do. I probably should use my seal plus on this one. So that goes right inside there. And we're gonna demonstrate this again too, but I wanted to show you guys. So then the green piece layers over that flap that I just put inside there. The white piece layers over the green piece. And then this is your flap of DSP. You do want to, maybe I put that down a little bit too far. You need to give a little bit of room right in there just so when you fold, it'll close. And then Nancy had a great idea to make this a little bit more substantial. So she put a piece of Whisper White cardstock behind her DSP. Because otherwise, you guys know, like the DSP is a little bit wimpier almost. Um, so yeah, it's a cool fold. You're right, Philomena. Um, so yeah, let me show you. So this, like I said, and Nancy, she used maybe the tulips stamp set. I'm trying to remember because we, she it was so cute because she demonstrated this card for us at our meeting. Um, we have it on Facebook Live too. And then she made packets for everybody. She loves to do that so that we could all make our own. Um, but then she, she um, had decorated the outside and she just said, you know, do whatever you want on the outside. So I used this one, again, that let, let faith be bigger than your fear. And then some of, this is more the twill ribbon. This one in, um, that's just jade, right? So, okay, so I'm gonna show you uh, very similar, but it uses more of the, Artistry Blooms Designer Series Paper. So really just about the same idea, right? This one right here is the one we're actually gonna make. Um, yeah, and it's so simple too, um, the layout, Susan. So I think you'll appreciate that also. And you've got the, you got this, love that, right? Okay, so let me show you. But again, thank you, Miss Nancy, for sharing this um, fun fold card idea with us at our meeting. Okay, let me grab what we need here. Oh, this is another totally off topic, but I had to show you because it also features um, the ridiculously awesome stamp set. This was a card that I received. It was a swap. Did I not bring that over? Oh, shoot, I didn't. Hmm, okay. Well, it's a swap, and I, I pulled it out of um, the sleeve. So Kara Pazant, maybe is her name. I'm trying to remember who, who I got the swap card from, but I don't have it here. So I apologize. This is not a card that I created, um, but I loved it so much. We actually made it at card class a couple weeks ago. Um, but again, it's with this sentiment, you are my sunshine, that is part of the ridiculously awesome stamp set. Um, I will tell you, and if I have club members listening, you might want to plug your ears, but I used this basic layout on a club member treat that I made also, and I will be sharing that um, on my blog very soon, and I'll show you guys those too. So, but I just, I loved this whole layout. I love the wood grain, like you're saying too. Susan, I love that wood grain um, kind of as a background on there also. So super cute, just lots of fun stuff you can do with that ridiculously awesome stamp set, right? Okay, so... 
Let me see. I think we are okay here. Do, do, do. So I'm going to get some ink out, our stamps, the punch. Okay, so let me tell you about sizes. Yeah, it's definitely, I kept thinking I was going to run across that sleeve that has her business card in it, but I don't think I'm going to. Darn it. Okay, so we start with, this is Melon, Melon Mambo. Yep, so this is kind of our card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. That's what's this piece right there, just layers right behind there, okay? Then we have our mango melody piece that measures three and a half by five and a half and then over top of that we have actually and it's two pieces of whisper white um one goes on the inside and then one goes behind the designer series paper but this measures three inches by five and a half inches okay and then we have our designer series paper so like i said i um, cut this to three inches by six inches and then I made a score mark at five and a half inches because that's how we're gonna put that fold in there and then the flap will work for you okay and then I just have um, a scrap piece of whisper white to do our stamping on and then this piece of mango melody that measures one inches one inch by three inches okay all right, so let's do our, actually, there's no die cutting on this one either. All right, so we don't have to do our stamping first. So let's put things together so you kind of can see how this works. Where did I put my, looking for my stamp and seal. Okay, so step number one, and I want this baby right here too. Okay, we are going to, let me think about this. So this is going to lay right inside there like that okay so we want to just put a, um, a good amount of adhesive because that's gonna fit right down on there okay so I like to use my um, silicone mat here so that I don't get adhesive where I don't want it right like on my work paper okay so we're gonna kind of oh Nancy had a trick too now I'm trying to remember what her trick was I'm like futzing around here okay what's the best way to do this because it's sticking to my fingers too okay so here, we're gonna try, what if I go like this? Cause I'm trying to get a, the same approximately. Um, and then it sticks, right? Oh, Nancy, I wish I could remember what your trick was. Cause I feel like there was a trick, but <laughs> in the meantime, you just futz with it until you think you got it about right. And even if you don't, it'll be all right. It'll be good enough. There's probably a, Oh, oh, thank you, Nikki. You're saying yes, Kara, Kara. Oh yeah, because I did post it on our Facebook group, didn't I? Oh, sorry, I'm like so out of it. Um, I have not, I've, I haven't gotten as much sleep as I normally do. So my brain, you know, normally I'm a little ditzy. Now I feel like I'm even ditzier. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully it provides some entertainment for people, if nothing else. Like, yeah, she's a little loopy these days. Okay, so we're going to press super hard on that and hope <laughs> hope and pray that I put it where I was supposed to. And then this one is gonna layer right over that. Okay, so we're gonna use our little work surface again. We are gonna add a bunch of adhesive. Oops, oh, and then I went off the edge. I'm still working on this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a little bit, oops. Okay, so this is where you see how I did that and there's nothing happening. I'm gonna go over to where my adhesive was and it's like it draws it up so that you can run it again. Love that trick. That's like probably the most fabulous thing I've learned lately. Okay, so now we are gonna put this piece maybe right about there. Okay, and I'll show you. Then on the inside, right, we're gonna use one of our white pieces. We might as well do our stamping now since I wanna stamp on my inside white piece. Let's get that going here. So we've got our Mango Melody ink. <laughs> yeah, not ditzy, just fun. Well, thank you, Philomena. <laughs> I appreciate that. I feel ditzy, but that's, I'm, I appreciate you saying not so. <laughs> okay, there we go. So our hearts go there. And then let's see, we will do our sentiment. Let's just stamp that baby right here. So we've got the, you got this. So what I think I'm gonna do though, to make sure I have enough room, I am gonna just stamp the, you got this, and then we will add our heart after I punch because sometimes it's hard for me to estimate um, how much room and I want to be able to see my heart so let's do that we're gonna we stamped the you got that this that was in 
Melon Mambo. Okay, yeah, so now I'm trying to make sure I have enough room over here for my heart, okay? I think that'll be good. Plenty of room, okay? I'm getting ink all over everything. There's our heart. Okay, perfect. I love that heart too. So cute, so, so cute. All right, so we got that, we got that. So now we can put some adhesive on the back of our white piece. Actually, both of our white pieces we can do. Okay, so you can see I'm kind of flick, flicking, I guess, a little bit. It's like that turn that you used to have to do. I'm finding, because I wasn't doing it, I wasn't working so quickly when I was first starting with this, um, and I feel like it's helping me now. Okay, so we're going to put this one right inside here. Again, just to make it um, feel a little bit more substantial. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Yeah, but see, oh, all right, hold on. Um, cause you want to give a little bit of room in there to fold it down too. So let's try that. I'm glad that didn't stick. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Uh, let's see. Can we get it off? It's almost like I needed to trim it a teeny weeny bit. Well, I might have to do that later off camera if it doesn't. So that's one thing to note is maybe do a double check. Yeah, I'll probably trim that maybe along the bottom there, right? Okay, so then this one, this was definitely the trick, was to lay this down on here and then um, help yourself kind of adhere it down on there, okay? So that when you're doing this, you don't see any white on either side, right? And if any of this, like if this is a little bit choppy along here, I would take that in um, in my craft room and use my paper cutter and just kind of trim that off to make it look super flush, which I will tell you my secret because I definitely did that there, but you see how beautiful it looks. This one's a little wonky, but we'll get it to work, right? Okay, so there's that. And then this one too. I probably would go in and just cut that whole thing off and then it'll be perfect which I am a little anal, so I have a Carl cutter now, ladies. That's like the super duper heavy duty cutter. So you can cut like all of those pieces just all at once. It's really lovely, really, really lovely. Okay, so now we're gonna put some dimensionals behind our little label sentiment. I can't remember, it's one of these label dies, I don't know. I'll, I will, oh, I'm glad I'm saying that though. I will give you the item codes, um, the names, everything you need to know, the paper, the dimensions, colors, all of that will uh, be on my blog this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. So if you missed any of these details, if I misspoke, I promise it's all <laughs> true and accurate on my blog. Um, so check that out if you want to make any of these cards. If you want to order anything, all of those item codes will be right there too so that you can make these projects yourself. You can have lots of fun. This paper really lends itself. I think it coordinates really well with this stamp set too. Um, just the fun, bold sentiments in the stamp set and then the imagery on the paper, right? Okay, so we're going to add a glue dot right behind there. We've got our, you got this. And then one last, I was like, okay, it was missing a little something and I had to, had to add. So I have a few, look at how many, we've used a bunch of these in class, but we're gonna use, and these aren't even quite, I'm trying to remember if, um, what is this bumblebee, if that's a color in, it works though, right? Even if it's not a color in here, I think it completely works. Um, one of the little, what are these called? The Playing With Patterns Resin Dots that come in Coastal Cabana, Purple Posy, and then this one is Bumblebee. So there we go, ladies, card number two. This one's a little bit better than this one is. So we'll put this one right over here. I'll go lap off the bottom of that other one and it'll be good then too, right? Okay, and then here's our other one. So, okay, quick reminder. You guys can get these cards too. Label me lovely. Yes, I think you're right, Miss uh, Sharon. I believe that is exactly it. Okay, so yes, you can get both of these cards from me as a thank you when you put in your online order of at least $30. You get the make and takes right here. Your name is also entered into the drawing to win the Playing With Patterns designer series paper with your $30, just a minimum $30 order. Er, there we go, 
don't know, you guys can see it, right? This is our host code, code the R4P4KGGM. And then as always, bump your order up to $50. Do it before August 3rd and you get your bonus day coupon. And then you can also pick from the PDF tutorial. We'll have a new one for August very soon. This is July right here. Or the butterfly gems um, if you do it today. Or the in color enamel dots if you do it in August. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'd be happy to answer any questions. So thank you guys and Philomena, you're always so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed these cards. I missed you guys last week. Let me tell you, I would have much rather, um, it, it's a lot more fun to be here on Facebook Live than it is in an office working, isn't it? So <laughs> I missed you guys. So, but thank you for, um, like I said, giving me that grace um, to be able to go in and do that. I felt good to help them out though too, because I know Lisa, who I was kind of uh, covering for, she was really happy to not come back to like a ridiculously messy desk with lots of stuff to do. So anyway, all right, you guys have a great weekend and we will see you back here next Friday. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye everybody.